rolling through my morning routine, sipping you know what. And I was looking at the waves and the waves are fantastic right now. Surf twice this weekend with Cassie and I was thinking about it because I took one in from the back line, surfed all the way into shore and my fin scraped on the coral. And it damaged the fin and I was sitting there looking at this brand new board that I purchased, I don't know, earlier before the summer hit. And I was like, man, I gotta possibly get that repaired. I don't know if I'm good enough to even feel what the effect would be just yet. So I don't know, but there's like a bunch of nicks and spurs and stuff on my board just from using it, using it hard. Being bad. You gotta be bad at something first before you experience the good. But uh, <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, man, this is exactly, this is exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of people would be upset that their brand new purchase or their brand new investment got nicked and dinged and burred and scratched and cracked. And But the reason that happened is because I'm using the shit out of it. <laughs> the reason that happened is because I'm living hard, high, full throttle. The reason that happened is I'm sensing and sensualizing every experience in my life through my physical body. The reason that happened is because I'm living like a human fucking being. And when human beings live like human beings, <laughs> we break apart, we get damaged, we fall, we get scratched, we get cracked, we get scraped, we hit coral, whatever coral is in you. And guess what? The body fucking repairs. If you're true to it, it's going to repair regardless, but to a level of whatever your input is. I don't know what you choose to do, but bottom line, the, all the body knows to do is to heal, adapt, and repair. Um, and so I was like, oh man, that's a nuisance, like the fin. But I'm like, you know what? I took a wave, a bunch of them, from the back line all the way to shore. For five years, I've been sitting watching people ride waves that long and been like, man... I can't wait till I can do that. And now I'm doing it and I scrape a fin. I'll gladly do whatever's necessary to repair that fin. Because if that's happening, I'm scraping it on coral. That means I'm living. And here's the deal with injuries. Stay in my world. <laughs> Every injury is the opportunity to level up. That's what your body does. If you aren't healing beyond an injury, above and beyond, not controlling flare-ups, not managing symptoms. I need this to be stated. That is not the reality that the body was born to do or equipped or wired to do. To manage your pain as you slowly uh, control the decline into older life or into life. That's not the design. The design is to continually ascend and climb. Continually repair, continually function, continually learn, continually change and adapt to climb so that elders are stronger than everybody are wiser with wisdom more than anybody. They've got more stories. Their skin tells a story. The outer cover of their book and the book just keeps changing and getting bigger and taking out chapters and all these things. That is how the body is equipped. And then guess what? And I tell my people in Zooms all the time, this isn't an invincible plan. You're not getting into a position to be invincible. Just like Cassie's Everyone's like, oh, I have symptoms, Cassie. I thought working with you, I wasn't gonna have symptoms. What the hell are you talking about? Symptoms are perfect. But dealing with why those are there in the first place, not just subduing them or managing them. But if you get yourself in a position to heal greater than whatever caused the injury in the first place, you function higher. And guess what? You're gonna be living harder. And guess what? You're gonna scrape your fin on a coral, <laughs> whatever that means. But. You now know the concept of why all injuries occur. You know what the solution is. And you go ahead and put yourself in that position and you heal. No matter what, how much time it takes. Doesn't matter anyway because you're doing this stuff for life. That's the design. You know you're living hard. And I'm not talking about you crazies that are captioning and putting all this stuff in the captions. Yeah, TJ, I'm so on board with you. Finally, somebody saying what I've been saying for so long. You, that's not, you're not what I'm talking about. And I'm tired of those captions um, and those comments. Excuse me. It's not just say fuck it 
and keep surfing. If I had a broken fin and I kept scraping the fin, scraping the fin, scraping the fin, and I had this little like pinky toenail for a fin, like that's not, that. and the board's like waterlogged and it's falling apart, that's stupid. But fuck this man, I'm living hard, right, right? No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. And that's where everybody's like, yeah, TJ, I had this, 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 and then I just kept walking and said, fuck the pain, and now I'm, Okay, maybe, maybe you figured out that that's what, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when these things occur, you change every single thing about you to put yourself in a different position to be able to function at a higher level. You're changing how you move, who you're sitting with, what you're believing, what, you're, what stories you're believing, who you're hanging out with, what your sleep is like, what your natural light is like, nourishment, which that's a part of it as well. Mostly changing all of your movement, firing all the people getting in the way of your healing, and then leveling up to a level greater than that, and then you keep going. Not this just ignore, put blinders on, be tough, say fuck it, don't worry about pain, ignore the pain. That's not even close to what I'm talking about. That'd be like me ignoring if I continually broke apart my board because I'm living so hard. Me paddling out on a splinter of fiberglass or whatever it is and being like, yeah, this is fun, I'm surfing. Nah. <laughs> so that's not the design, that's not what it is. But. The design is for every injury you have, no matter how prolific, no matter how many surgeries you've had, no matter who's hurt you, no matter level of trauma, the body will heal to a level of higher if you input greater than anything you've ever experienced in the past and you keep going. And then you open yourself up living a hard life for more shit to happen. And if you're feeling, that means you're living. And again, those feelings are guides. Those symptoms and sensations are guides. And you just continue to change, continue to change. And that's how you continue to climb. But this decline with age as a certainty makes zero sense at all. It doesn't make sense and it's a lie that you've been told. But that is how the body works with injuries. And when you do this, you're gonna be open to more injuries and more injuries. Shit, I've had four this year. You? Yeah, I've had four injuries this year because I'm fucking challenging my body so hard in life told me I wasn't ready to handle the forces that I was managing. Some of them emotional, some of them coupled. It's emotional, physical, intellectual, mental, spiritual all the time anyway. Three of them I've ascended beyond what I was before. One's gonna take a little longer. I'm not doing anything different. Training a little more, inputting a little more where these weaknesses were, where these leaks were. Had to modify my life a little bit. It's gonna take a little more, but I'm doing this for my life anyway, so whatever happens. But who did you go to to heal your injuries? What did you do to heal? What specialist, what gadget, what spike ball did you massage your adhesions with? Life happens. Your body is telling you, are you prepared for a level greater than your life? If you aren't prepared for a level greater than your life, your body's going to tell you. If you listen and you make the changes, you can change the level that you go in and out at. And you can ascend higher than what life's going to demand. And as long as you keep that ratio balanced where your prepared body is greater than what your life is asking of you, you will be a fucking rock star. And then the second the scales are tipped, no matter how big it is, falling off a third story building, to making love, to getting a little fender bender, to sitting at a baseball game or something else, your body's going to tell you, can't handle this, need to change, need to input, change it. It's your choice whether to listen or not. And it's also your choice on what level you go out at. We don't live forever. That's not what we're talking about. We don't. Nobody's going to live forever. Yeah, we get it. But you can determine what level of life you're experiencing. That is 100,000% your call. Remember that. Go scrape your fin on some coral. <laughs>